Hey everybody, this is Mr. Epic Waffles, and welcome to the very first Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. This is going to be against my friend Michael. I battled him a couple, just a few battles ago in a Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So, since the metagame's kind of new, we still kind of learn new things about the Pokemon we were using. And we don't necessarily have the most of the competitive items, just because I mean, we haven't... Because the game only came out like a week ago, so. Anyway, going into the team previews, I have Alolan Exeggutor, Togedemaru, Vigavolt, Crabomitable, uh, Turtonator, and Mudsdale. And Michael has Lycanroc, Toucanon, Gulasopod, Alolan Raichu, Alolan Dugdrio, and Incineroar. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed the battle. This was definitely a fun battle to have. So. I decided to lead off with my Exeggutor, uh, all neck the Exeggutor, as I tried to catch something to put to sleep. He didn't have anything to resist sleep powder, so that was a good thing. So I could ensure that I could hit my, uh, well, not really ensure hitting sleep powder, but I know I can hit any everything on his team. He decides to go into his Galissopod, as I decided to go just for the sleep powder, and it's really good because Galissopod's a really threatening Pokemon. Uh, first impression is very dangerous. It's its signature move. It kind of works like Fake Out. You can only use it the first turn you're in battle, but it has 90 base power and is just really powerful. So I decided to go to my Vika Volt, um, just switching out. So I, what I was planning on doing was kind of catching the Dugdrio to switch in, and it actually worked. So Dugdrio comes in, and I just go for the Energy Ball. And that does a lot of damage. I mean, Vigavolt has a lot of good special attack. I think it's like 145, something around there. It's really high, but I mean, I mean, his base speed is like in the 40s. So, but I'm able to do a lot of damage with that, um, with that energy ball. And he decided to go for the rock slide, as I decided to go into my Mudsdale, and it gets the stamina off. That is Mudsdale's signature ability. Every time it gets hit by an attack, regardless if it's physical, special, direct contact, direct contact or not, that my defense gets a boost, and that's pretty powerful. So, he's, I don't know why he did this, but he did just switch into his Lycanroc and just catches an oncoming superpower. Um, I actually predicted the two cannon to come in, but that's what I figured, but that wasn't the case. So... He decides to go into Star Rider, which is his Raichu, which I didn't uh, didn't necessarily understand. But then again, his one Pokemon that really gets super effective me was uh, Asleep, and I have Rock Slide. So he decided to go for the Psychic. Doesn't do enough, and I can just go for the Earthquake, and that's able to take down the Raichu regardless of being at minus one attack. And that's just because Raichu. Raichu is a great Pokemon. Also, Lolan form is really cool, but it's just really frail as a Pokemon. So he decides to go into Tony to Tiger, which is his, um, which is his Incineroar. I gotta remember all these names. So, with the nice Z-move action, and so, I like this Z-move, it's really cool. And so the Malicious Moonsault. I actually thought it was gonna take me out, because, just because it has, uh, I think 180 power, and I figured it was just going to take me out. And seeing how the HP fell, it really looked like it. But I lived on 11 HP. And I went for the Earthquake. I should have gone for the Z move. Because I had the uh, the uh, Ground DMZ. Because I would have taken it out. It's really close to taking uh, Incineroar out. It lives on a little bit of HP. And that's just because I was at minus 1. And I just let my Mudsdale go down. And he just goes for the Darkest Lariat. And that's able to take me down. So... Yeah, Darkest Larry also has a move. It it hits the opponent regardless of uh regardless of stats. So even with the plus defense, I mean I was at eleven HP, but even regardless of the defense, it would have hit me like I didn't get any boost. So I go into my uh, Turtonator as he decided to go into two cannon. I just go for the flamethrower. That does a lot of damage. Now I decided to use uh, Shell Trap here. So what that does is once I use Shell Trap and the move makes physical contact with me, that the move activates and basically hits the Pokemon with a lot of uh, damage. So he goes for the Swords Dance, which is pretty scary. And I just wanted to go for another Shell Trap. 
And he hits with the powerful return after setting up a sword stance. This does a lot of damage to me. And I can use the shell trap. And look at this animation. It's 150 base power. That's a lot of power on a for a move. Definitely. Uh, so he decides to go into his little and Doug Trio. I thought he was just going to earthquake me. I could have switched out to keep my uh, Turtonator for his death father, but um, decided to just let it go. And I also get a free switch. But he went for the rock slide and missed. So I was able to get a flamethrower off. And so he decides to go into Tony the Tiger, which is, of course, Incineroar. And I wanted to go for the Shell Trap because I knew he was going to go for a physical attack. But here's what I didn't know. And he also has a leech life, but um, here's what I didn't know. Even when you take a Pokemon, if your Pokemon gets, if Turtonator gets taken down with uh, using Shell Trap, then it doesn't work. I didn't know this at first, so you learn something new every day, I guess. It makes sense, though. Anyway, going to my Executor, everything else after this gets kind of destroyed by him. Now, the leech life kind of caused problems, which is pretty cool that... Incineroar learns this, and it's actually, you'll see how useful it really is, just because it gets him uh, health back. And I just go for the Dragon Hammer, and does a really decent amount of damage, but it's not enough to take him out. And the Leftovers, I just have the Leftovers, it's because it's an Executor, and it's more, def uh, well, kind of a defensive Pokemon, it doesn't necessarily have the best defense, but I have the Protect, so I decided to use it, and that will put me at enough HP to take another Leech Life. And then I can, I was thinking this next turn if I could take him out with Dragon Hammer after the amount of health he got back. But he didn't get enough health back to take another Dragon Hammer. If that was the case, I would have been in a more or less a dangerous position. But I am able to take him out with a Dragon Hammer. And that's enough to, to get the Incineroar. And his last Pokemon is Golisopod. And I can just let, I just decided to let uh, Executor, uh, go down here. I didn't necessarily want to make a switch just in case he woke up because Galissapod is extremely powerful. Um, so he's still asleep so he doesn't get his first impression off and I just go for the seed bomb. That does a little bit of damage. And so I just get some leftover recovery and he'll be asleep for a couple of turns but when he does wake up he's able to Take me down with the Leech Life. It's really nice how Leech Life as a move has gotten uh, more competitive now. Now that's 80 base power instead of 20. It's really useful. Um, really useful move to use. Just because it's now powerful and you get health back from it. So, so the Glispod decides to go for the Leech Seed. Or not Leech Seed, Leech Life. The Um... I'm not used to narrating. I don't upload often. So, <clears throat> he just takes me out with that. And so, my last, or not my last Pokemon, I decided to go into Togedemaru. And I just go for the Zing Zap, which is Togedemaru's signature move. I love using this thing. I thought I was going to take it out, but I, I mean, this thing's defense is pretty decent. So, he goes for the Liquidation. That brings me down to my Focus Sash. And I can just take him out with Iron Barb's damage. Uh, I love using Togedemaru. Uh, I like running it with Focus Ash. It doesn't... It has... Being Steel Electric, Ground just takes it out. I mean, he doesn't have the best defense, but it's a really fun Pokemon to use. Anyway, that's going to be the first Pokemon Sun and Moon battle. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you guys want to battle me, uh, comment below. And I hope you guys uh, subscribe for more content. And see you guys next time.